Antonio Conte's first Premier League game as Tottenham manager as Tottenham travelled to Goodison Park to take on Everton. Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today this is my match day preview for Everton versus Tottenham in a big game tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock kickoff at Goodison Park. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, so let's get into today's video. Right then, so let's have a look at the form coming into tomorrow's game. So for Tottenham, we have a lot. So we have a win, loss, win, loss, loss, win. So uh, three losses and three wins. And obviously one of them was Conte's first game against Vitez. I think looking at the Vitez game, you know, we did play our strong team. So it'll probably be the same team that played, that will play tomorrow away at Everton. Um, I think some players that did well, I think Emerson did well, Regulon, uh, you know, I think we did all right. I think defensively we weren't too great, but um, yeah, uh, Everton, this is their form coming into the game tomorrow. So Everton have a loss, 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 draw, win and a loss. And obviously, so only one win in the last six for the Toffees, and that was against Norwich, who obviously sacked Daniel Farker earlier today. So um, three Premier League defeats on the trot for Everton. Um, Everton, their last home game, they lost 5-2 at home to Watford. So will Everton lose back-to-back -back home games in front of the Everton fans? All right, then, so what is my score prediction coming into tomorrow's game at Goodison Park between Everton and Tottenham? Now, Everton, they're not really looking too great at the moment. Obviously, Everton, their last game, they lost 2-1 away at Wolves. And if I have to be honest, I think Michael Keane was pretty much their only good defender in that game. You know, I think, obviously, Alex Awobi getting a goal. Townsend, you know, got a rating of 7.3. But Michael Keane got a rating of 8.2, which is the highest in the Everton squad in the 2-1 defeat at Molyneux on Monday, um, you know, Damari Gray and Richarlison played up front, didn't really do much, and uh, the Everton fans weren't really too pleased with the with the performance on Monday night against Wolverhampton Wanderers. I think for us though, you know, I think the first, I think the first few minutes, I think we absolutely dominated Vitesse. We absolutely dominated them, um, you know, we were three 0 up, then it somehow went to three two, and uh, yeah, I think. It was literally adults versus kids in the second half. We were the kids, they were the adults. And, uh, yeah, we managed to hold on to the win. But my prediction, I think we are going to win. Obviously, it's Conte's first Premier League game. You know, I've, I can't even remember the last time Conte managed against Everton. It, was, it obviously it was with Chelsea. But, um, yeah, my prediction, I'm going to go Everton 1, Tottenham Three. I'm going to go with 3 1 to Spurs. All right, then, so let's have a look at the players to look out for then. So let's start with the visitors, Spurs, and let's have a look at our 3 2 win against Vitesse on Thursday night. So I think one player where I'm going to start with, I am going to start with Emerson. I think it was very, very good against Vitesse. I know we weren't really too great in the second half, and I think another player who did well was Sergio Regulon. I think Emerson and Regulon, obviously, they played as like you know, wing back slash midfielder, like right midfielder, left midfield. But they kept pinging the ball across to each other and that was really good. I think another player who did quite well was um Hyung Min Son. I think he did very well. Um writing of eight point four. He did very well. Um seventy two minutes played, um eighty nine percent pass success. So that's quite good there. Um I think another player who did very well was Lucas Moura. He came off in the 73rd minute, and I think he did put in a good, sh good shift. So, Ever Everton fans, watch out for Emerson, Regulon, Mora, and Son. Um, Everton, I think for me, let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at their defeat to Wolves. I think one man who I am going to start with is Michael Keane at the back. I think it was probably Everton's only good defender against um, Wolves. And uh, I think Townsend did all right. And. Uh, 
a Wobi, you know, we didn't really do much, we probably won't play tomorrow, so for me, I think we need to keep an eye on Townsend and Michael Keane. Right then, so it is now time for the predictive lineup for tomorrow's game at Goodison Park. So in goal, I'm going to start with Hugo Lloris. You know, the Vitesse game, he was all right, obviously. You know, you know, it was Conte's first game. He didn't really know the leaning that well. So, yeah, I think Lloris will start again tomorrow. Um, back three of Christian Romero, Eric Dyer, and Davison Sanchez. I don't think Ben Davis was really that good against Vitesse. And I think when Sanchez came on, I think he did quite well. So I would bring in Sanchez instead of Davis. So yeah, um, right wing back slash right midfield. I am going with Emerson. He was absolutely brilliant against Vitesse. So hopefully he does well. Um, two centre midfielders, Oliver Skip on Pierre Mill Hoiberg. You know, they did all right. So hopefully they do good tomorrow. Um, left wing back or left mid, whatever. You wanted to call it. Um, I'm going with Sergio Reglon again. I think he was the second best player on the in the game. That's Vitesse, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, hopefully he does well tomorrow. And for the front three of Lucas Moura, Harry Kane, and Young Win Son. Um, Son did well. So did Moura. Hopefully they get some goals, and hopefully Kane scores as well. So yeah, um, formation three four three. Um, so yeah, repeat. I'm just going to repeat and then I go Lloris, Romero, Doyle, Sanchez, Emerson, Skip, Hoiberg, Regular, Moro, Kane, Son. Um, unfortunately, there will be no match day vlog tomorrow as I'm going to the FA Cup game between Stratford Town and Shrewsbury. But um, I, there will be a match reaction as I will watch the highlights of the game. So yeah, come on Tottenham and let's get that win at Everton. Come on!